Hello there, you guys. Welcome back to Rose with Crystal here. Um, let's see, what did we even do last time? Last time, I think we had Ark over and we went to the island. How are you guys doing today, though? Uh, we have a couple letters. So I have been doing just a little bit of flower arranging. You might be able to tell. We bred quite a lot of those, actually, over the last couple days. So I did put them around Bob's house, as I said I would. They look really great, really happy with how it turned out. That is, that is not the mail slot. <laughs> um, okay, let's see here. From Bob. Uh, thanks for having me over the other day. It made me decide to clean up my house too, and look what I found behind my candy behind my candy wrapper volcano. Here you earned it. I love Bob. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, and then we also have one from Robin. Dear Crystal, well, you earn points for honesty. I suppose my place really isn't anything special. I said nice things to you, alright? But I'm fine with that. I like it how it is. Here's a present from me to you. Okay, so Robin and Bob gave us stuffs. Um, alright, I should probably put that letter away. Anyway, Bob gave us a blue flooring, which kind of goes with the blue wallpaper we have going on, but we're not going to change it. And an alpine chair. Robin quit tempting me, Dan. Alright, so, um, looking down on the map, you may, if you have a keen eye, notice that uh, we have an extra villager. Essentially, what happened the other day is on Saturday I was streaming New Leaf. Um, I can't think. I don't think I mentioned this last time because it was Saturday, the last time I filmed this. Um, and I was visiting viewers, and then uh, essentially, if you guys don't know, uh, after you have a villager move out, they stay in something called the void. The void is kind of just the space where a villager will, you know, chill out, and you can't really get them to move back in. But if somebody visits you and they have space in their town, there's a chance they move in. So essentially, uh, a villager got voided into my town from somebody who I visited. Not sure who, doesn't really matter. Uh, obviously, they already, or this villager already moved out for them, so it's not like they're going to miss them or anything. Uh, and yeah, I, I was not expecting that. So now we have another villager. I know who it is. <laughs> and I think I've mentioned it a couple times since. Uh, like on streams and stuff, but, and I think on the vlog, but uh, yeah, at least, at the very least, this villager moved into a good spot. It's fine. You know, it's one of the ones I had plotted out. So here's, here's new villager's house. I've already started putting flowers around it uh, just to help them settle in. So let's go say hello then. Oh. Pashmina, you're here too. But anyway, guys, this is Gaston. He looks like he's wearing uh, the main character's shirt from Undertale. <laughs> Do you guys know what I'm talking about? My name is Gaston. I was living in Starville until just recently. I get the feeling I'll do well in Rosewith, though. So it's nice to meet you, neighbor. Alright, well, there he is. He is... I just realized I really don't like his house. I was gonna say he's our RD cranky, but oh, this house is creepy. Anyway, Pashmina, what are you doing in here? It's weird running into you here at Gaston's house, kidders. Uh, did you need something? Hey, I just met this Sahara chick. She's like from another country and sells carpets. Takes guts to make it as a traveling saleswoman nowadays. Uh, I told her to take it easy. Man, she's just gonna ruin your carpets, Pashmina. <laughs> But yeah, Gaston is our new villager. It's it's funny timing with the Beauty and the Beast movie. Everyone's into it right now, and his name just kind of fits. Oh yeah, these are done today. Oh my goodness, we have so much to do today. I should be moving. Oh, Robin. Gosh, hi, baby. What's going on? Uh, just the person I was looking for. Say, so, yeah, I'm wondering if you'll help me with my home decor. I'm looking for something. Oh, I don't know. Something that looks nice with everything else in my room. I'm trying to remember what her house looks like. Okay, well, let me just talk to you normally, then. Uh, talk to me. The other day I met someone named Gavin. He's not from around here. We didn't really hit it off. He was a bit of a bell pincher, if you ask me. Ark. Ark, you salty yet? <laughs> oh no, that's really bad. <clears throat> By the way, apologies ahead of time. My voice starts to go while recording. Uh... I'm either balancing a cold or balancing seasonal allergies. I'm not really sure what just yet. But anyways. Also, I think our new bridge should be done today. I think. 
Uh, I think I paid it off all, all yesterday, hopefully. Um, in other news, though, and I think I mentioned it briefly in passing last time, uh, our, I guess, friendship with Brewster is high enough to the point where he's allowing us to work part-time, so we will be doing that today. I guess we'll also be doing the fossil, or fossil, <laughs> the stump uh, cutting thing to see how that goes. Freckles, what's up? <laughs> Hey Crystal, I was cleaning this morning and I saw I had two of the same thing. An extra fall leaf tea. Who would have thought? Here, for you Crystal, trust me, you'll be doing me a favor. Thank you. Okay, so other than that though, basically, uh... Oh, what else do we have to do today? Uh, chores. Chores, pretty much. That's gonna be this episode. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Uh, but yeah, I'm really, really happy with how uh, well Rosebuff is coming along. I really am starting to love this town. Like, uh, it, it takes me a while to get used to it. It takes me a while, and I'm like, you know, like, is this really uh, going well? Is this how I want it to look? And I mean, sure, we've run into a couple of things along the way, for example, Freckles. But uh, other than that, everything is doing amazing, so I'm very, very happy. Oh, excuse you. We had, uh, we had Katrina yesterday, and I did get my fortune told. Um, we're really getting up there. Like, I think this is gonna be, like, the earliest I've ever gotten Katrina. So, that's gonna be pretty cool. Um, also, next episode, I th think? Wait a minute. Wait just a gosh darn minute. Let me check my, uh, my calendar here. Okay, not the next episode. Next episode is gonna be something else, but the episode after that, so this Saturday, is uh, April Fool's Day. And uh, that's gonna be quite a fun day. We're gonna spend that episode doing the event. Probably not much else other than that. Uh, but I wanted to know now, because for those of you who don't know, April Fool's Day is a chance for you to get all of your villagers' pictures without having to befriend them first. Would you guys like me to aim to do that? Like, would you guys like me to look up the answers online? Or would you prefer I, um, did it by heart? Because, like, I, I'm okay with either or. I plan to get my favorite villager's pictures anyway. So I'm not all that concerned about that. <laughs> but, uh, but it's entirely up to you. Because in the grand scheme of things, this Let's Play, I want it to last for about a year. We'll see. If it goes on longer, we'll see what's going on. That kind of stuff in a year's time. But essentially, I want to show off as much as I can and do as much as I can within a year. So I don't know what you guys think about that. For sure, let me know. How about you do me a big favor? Uh, right now, I just really want a cherry. I know it's growing here in town, but I don't have anything to wear for fruit picking. You think you could please get one for me? Sure. Why not? Okay. So, if we find a cherry along the way, we'll grab one for Marshall, but uh, we are still looking for our fossils. And it's not going that well so far, it feels like, almost. Actually, no, we have three, snap. It's going really well. <laughs> I was not keeping track of how many we had already gotten. Uh, well, here's the new bridge. I'm really happy it lined up. I should probably get rid of this section since we don't need it anymore. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna put up here. I could honestly put more houses if I really wanted to, but I think I have enough house plots put down everywhere for any villagers that may move in. Um, but yeah. That, that, okay, that doesn't... Okay, wait, no, no. <laughs> not what I meant to do. I'm really happy with this, though. I really do like it. Um, okay, let's see here. So this is gonna be like this. It's gonna be that one. And... There we go. Perfect. Perfect. That's gonna be quite cute. I need to move this clock down still. Maybe we'll do that at the end of the episode. We'll see how much time we have left. Uh, Max dropped these off yesterday. I should probably put them away today. That might actually be a next episode thing, though. I was thinking we could do uh, part of an episode for um, home design, home decorating, that kind of stuff. So, for sure. Let me know. Um... Meh, doesn't really apply to us right now. Okay, I don't see anything. Or rather, there was nothing from that rock. Oh boy. 
She just, every time I've ever had Sahara do anything for me, she always, always, always messes it up. Which really sucks. Um, maybe this rock if we're really lucky? No, we are not lucky. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Um, let's see here. I think, actually, yeah, we didn't go across here yet, have we? So I think we're, we're fine on finding all four, hopefully. Maybe. Fake rock. Nearly thought that one was real, actually, because that is the exact same spot where a, uh, an actual rock is in uh, Rosewood, which is also under so much change right now, you guys. I'm sure you guys aren't even really going to recognize it by the time I'm done with it. It's gonna be very, 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 very different. Uh, so I know that we found all four, but I just want to take a bit of a look around, see if there's any villagers that we want to talk to, etc. Also, a chance for the money rock. Oh, <gasps> oh, gem rocks. Yes, <laughs> they they sell for more generally. So awesome. Uh, do we even have room? I don't think we'd have room for all the fossils plus those right now, so we'll go sell them a bit later. Hopefully I don't forget. I've, I've done that one too many times. Um, well, all oh, this is looking good. I don't see any lost items. I see Melba up there, though, and I want to wanna talk to my cutie. O'Hare was talking to me about keeping a butterfly as a pet, and now I really want one too. Besides being good company, I think having a bug buddy would make my home feel so much homier. I wish I wasn't busy. Maybe you could catch a butterfly for me? I'm not picky. Any kind will do. Sure, why not? I think I've seen a couple flying around here. Okay, let's see if we can, uh... Let's see if we can find one. I thought I saw one just as we were walking up, but maybe I'm wrong? I feel like tons of them spawn when I when I'm not. Oh, come here, come here, friend. Oh, nope, friend. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Oh well, we'll find another one. I'm sure. Hopefully. Okay. Maybe up here. I tend to see one like in this little area here, but. Why are there none today? <laughs> this isn't fair. Oh well, anyway. Uh, so fingers crossed one of these fossils is actually one that we need. I still have not been handing them in on days when I'm not filming just because like you know what if we complete the collection, right? Like I don't wanna I don't wanna miss that with you guys. Um, alright, well there's Willow creeping on us. I feel like she's the new creeper of this series. <laughs> alright, Blathers, please, please, please have something that we actually, uh, or rather have, let us have something that you want. I guess that's the right wording for it. Uh, assess a fossil. I have a whole bunch for you today. Hey? Nope. Oh well. You can tell immediately based on what uh, animation he goes into. He'll do a shocked one if there is one. He'll do the like the you know happy flowers around his head one if there isn't. Oh boy. <laughs> That's disappointing, but that's okay. That's okay. It just means that we'll we'll get it done eventually. <laughs> Man, I feel like it's been really gray when I've been filming lately. Like it was pure sun in this town yesterday, but like today, no. It just it doesn't like you guys. It seems. <laughs> Speaking of, I have to take out this 3DS actually, uh, when it's actually nice outside again, uh, to do some street passes because I want to show you guys the um. Oh, what should I call it? The uh, da, 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 blanking here. The uh, happy home showcase. I think that's what it's called. Mm. <laughs> 
All right, Reese, I have uh, a lot to sell. <laughs> Um, alright, so by the way you guys, I actually didn't buy uh, turnips yesterday. Was it yesterday? No, Sunday. Two days ago. Uh, I completely forgot that morning. I just- I don't know what I was doing. I was doing other stuff. Probably actually knowing me filming the Sunday vlog day things and then I don't know what I was doing after that. I have absolutely no clue. But uh, but yeah, it's okay though. We'll, uh, we'll make money other ways, of course, and obviously this is a lot less- ooh. Risky. Hi, friend. There we go. Alright, let's go find Melba. Wherever she wandered off to. I'm more so- I'm not even really looking for her. I'm more so listening for footsteps. <laughs> there she is. She wasn't moving, so I wouldn't hear her. <laughs> Uh, I brought a bug. There you go. Thank you! I really want a peacock butterfly. Oh! Please allow me to say thank you with this. What is it? Ooh. Is it Poppy's shirt? Okay, good. <laughs> we- we have too many villagers wearing his shirt still. Um... Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to go... Actually, eh, you know what? Mm. Let's let's go do the roost thing first, and then after that, we'll cut down the trees and see what we get. Anyone here? No. Okay. Uh, hello. Welcome. How can I help you? Uh, I want to work, please. Alright, you have to make the coffee exactly as the customer asks. Okay, so here's the thing. I don't know my villagers' preferences yet, so unless they tell me, I'm gonna get them wrong. I have no clue what yours is. I only know one of, uh, Willow's preferences and she's gone. And then one of, uh, Marshall's preferences. Okay, so lots of milk for her. I have no clue the blend or anything else. Uh, let's go with blend. Uh, lots, because she said lots. Uh, two spoonfuls. I'm probably so wrong. <laughs> oh, nice, thanks. Yeah, this isn't quite what I was looking for. I think it had the right amount of milk, but that's about it. Alright, so I got everything else wrong. Crap. Oh, freckles, I have no clue what you like. One cup of coffee, please. Make it mocha. Okay. Oh gosh, does she like a lot of sugar? I have a feeling like she likes a lot of sugar. Okay, so she said mocha. Uh, let's put in a regular amount. Three spoonfuls, just because I feel like that's how it should be, but maybe she's like, no spoonfuls. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to breathe in that delicious coffee aroma. Not bad, not bad at all. Of course it's not perfect, this doesn't have quite the right amount of sugar. I was wrong. <laughs> But I'm not complaining. I'll drink this norm or no me drink no matter what because it's good to try new things. Well, I mean, I think that means that we got a couple- Oh, <gasps> Bob. <laughs> I have no clue what his preferences are. Coffee, please. A Kilimanjaro. Okay. Well, we know that about him now, but we don't know anything else. Uh, lots, I think. Maybe. <laughs> One. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to mess it up for him though. Let's try a sip. Huh? This isn't right. The coffee beans are fine, but next time I want something better. Oh, I'm sorry. 
I love you so much. Oh boy, poor Bob. <gasps> oh, we got an NPC. Cool. Digby, how's it going, dude? I'll take a cup of coffee to go, please. Oh, and no sugar for me. I think him and Isabel are exact opposites. I think that's what I remember. She likes a lot of sugar. He likes none. Is that how it goes? Uh, Blue Mountain. <laughs> I'm so wrong. Uh, wait. He said no. He said no sugar. Okay, so a little bit and none. Oh, this will be delightful. Um, I prefer to side against milk, but I must say I've certainly had worse. Okay, so he just doesn't like milk or sugar. Okay, he's pretty easy to remember then. Oh, back to work for me. Thank you kindly. Seems the customers have all been taken care of. Good work. Why don't you call it a day? Looks as if you made a fair number of customers leave happy. Not bad, or not a bad day's work. I'm gonna pay you in good coffee beans. You can make a strong cup with those. Come back and help me again sometime. Oh, I will for sure. I'm gonna have to take notes while I edit this episode and like be like... Digby likes no milk and no sugar and <laughs> cuz like I don't really want to look this up This is something that we can do together and figure out together and it's fun Uh, Anyways, so now we have those let's go grab that silver axe I forget exactly where I put it so this might take a minute and then we'll see what special stuff we might get Um, There it is Okay, so this should be pretty fun. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm hoping that we get really lucky and we don't have like too many duplicates, but we'll see. Gosh darn it, going through everything before we get to the one we want. Uh, okay. So, oh, hi Bam. So, your grape tea? Yeah, I've had my eyes on that mess for a while now. I was gonna, I was gonna, I was really, I was gonna, I was really hoping, rather, he was gonna say he didn't want to move out yesterday, Bam, or, yeah, Bam asked to move, and I hit the okay button. I didn't mean to, I thought about it after, and I'm like, wait a minute. Uh, so, we'll see. He may be a villager that gets auctioned off. I know that he is leaving on the 4th. Uh, if he does decide to leave at the end, so we'll see. I'll trade you. But uh, but yeah, that was kind of upsetting. It was kind of upsetting. I really like him. Uh, I'd love to just, I don't know, move him back in later, but he's in such a bad spot. You gonna change? No? Okay. Well, you might want to get out of the way, buddy. I'm gonna be, gonna be chopping down some trees here. Alright, you guys ready? I'm ready. I'm nervous. I hope that we get the ones we want. Ooh, we got the Triforce right off the bat, so that's pretty cool. Uh, wait. 6, 9, 12, 13, 14. Okay, I think we have enough. I'm pretty sure uh, this axe has 36 hits in it, I believe. So hopefully we don't kill the axe. I'm honestly not sure. Oh, good. Two different ones. A heart one. Uh. I don't remember if you can technically um, hit a tree with, like, say, for example, a gold or a normal axe, and then do the final swing of the silver axe if it still counts for having a special stump. I'm not exactly sure how this works. And. Oh, butterfly pattern. Awesome. Excuse me, Bam. That's always good. It means that we'll, uh. Or rather, it means that we're right on track for having different patterns. Let's see if we get lucky with this one as well. Oh, we're getting so lucky. 
This is really awesome, actually. I don't really care if we have duplicates on either side. I just didn't want, like, uh, two Triforces or something beside each other, because that looks kind of silly, right? Okay, there's another butterfly. That's all right. That's fine. Uh, I forget what uh, I think that there's six that we can get in total, and this is... What was that, five? That's five, so we could have gotten another one here, but we'll see. Maybe we'll get a different one on this side. No, there's actually that that looks quite cute. I like that. Never mind. That's fine. Just no more butterflies, please. <laughs> okay, another heart one. That's fine by me. And uh, for those curious, these mangoes, I'll probably just plant them around town, and if I don't, then they'll actually just go back into, like, I don't know, if we get too many duplicates one right after the other, then I'll just replace it. That's a random... <laughs> I just realized that is not the same type as the others. That's okay. Oh, gosh darn it, there's another... I might, I might dig that one up and try again. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Oh, another Triforce. Okay, that's not so bad. And then we have our final one. Oh, there's the, there's the next one we could have gotten, the next pattern. Oopsie. So, I think that looks pretty darn cool. I'm very happy with the, how that's turned out so far. I'm not sure if I'll replace that, um, that third, or was it fourth, uh, butterfly stump, but, uh, I'm, I'm happy with that. So anyways, I'm probably going to put um, bushes in between these. Just to kind of make it uh, like a, a, I guess, a almost naturally fenced off area. Because like, what am I going to do down here? Nothing, right? I'm going to stuff flowers down here. Probably um, not going to put any public works projects. So that's kind of the whole idea. Um, I don't think I could plant something there, but that's totally fine. Anyways, I think it looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with how that's uh, how that's all turned out. But anyways, you guys, look at my axe. Oh my god. Oh boy. Um, I'm pretty sure this is going to break in a few hits more. But anyways, guys, I'm probably going to end the episode here. Thank you so, so much for watching. Uh, I will be back on Thursday, and I guess we'll be looking more into public works projects on that day. Not exactly sure. But anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.